This is the system control panel for the DDHX. To turn the unit on, turn the power key switch all the way to power on engine start and then release. The king will spring back to on. The control system will boot up. You'll see the Sherman Riley logo, followed by the main screen and all the error messages. Once the error message is clear, you can start the engine by again turning the power key switch to power on engine start and releasing it. The engine will start after a few moments. If there is a system message, the operator can check system messages by pressing the system message key. Any system messages will be displayed here. Press back to return to the main screen. The operator can check the status of the engine functions by pressing the engine status key. The engine status screen provides data about the hydraulic engine, including temperature, oil pressure, RPM, alternator battery voltage, number of hours on the engine, the fuel level, regen level, and the percentage of soot load on the DPF filter. Error codes can also be reviewed by pressing error codes button. Press back to return to the main screen. By pressing the setup button, the operator can access five other screens or functions. The first option highlighted with the yellow box is the engine hydraulic information, which will take you to the engine hydraulic information screen. This screen displays oil pressure, hydraulic oil temp, alternator voltage, the RPM of the engine, the real speed, the number of hours on the engine, water temperature, and the hydraulic pressure. The control system automatically manages the RPM of the engine. However, RPM of the engine can also be managed from this screen. There are settings for high RPM, low RPM, and idle RPM. Press back to return to the setup screen. Using the arrow keys, the yellow highlighting box can be moved for selection. Engine status is the screen we visited previously. Press back to return to the setup screen. Backup operation is an illustration of the remote control functions. This screen represents the remote control. The backup control cannot be turned on if the remote control is on and connected. First, turn on the backup control by pressing the turn on button. This screen, as the name implies, is for backup control. One can navigate to various functions using the arrow keys highlighting the desired function with the yellow highlighting box. Once you highlight a function, press the select enter to operate that function. In this example, we will extend the boom out and retract the boom back in. You press and hold the select enter button and it will extend that function. Move the yellow highlighting box to boom in, press and hold to select enter, and it will retract the boom. That is the backup control unit. You can also raise and lower tension from this screen with the raise and lower tension buttons. When done, you can turn off the backup control. The I.O. check is the input-output check for electrical, electrical actuators. Changes to inputs and outputs are password protected. The next option is data record setup for data logging. Here you can stick a USB memory stick into the control panel, name the file, and begin recording data for logging your pull. Press back to return to the main screen. When operations are complete, the unit is shut down with a power key switch. This is the system control panel. However, the DDHX is designed to be operated with a remote control.